Okay, here we're going to show our double station hydraulic curt vise. And when setting up this vise, you want to be sure that you have your jaws appropriately set for the parts that you're going to, to clamp. So what I'm going to show you now is the fact that when you close this vise up, we'll close it all the way up first, you can see that the rear of the vise is closing first. We have no movement on the front one until this jaw contacts. Now we're closing the front jaw on the vise, and this will come all the way up to your part. So when consequently when you open it, your back jaw again is going to move first, and it's going to come all the way to the stop in the back of the vise before our front jaw begins to move. And here we have contact, and now our front jaw is going to move. So now we're going to clamp the parts in the vise to, to run the hydraulics. We're going to put a larger part in the back, and we're going to put a smaller part in the front. Now keep in mind, these jaws have a preload on them. They're designed that way to hold the part so that it doesn't fall out after you clamp it. You're going to get that in both jaws. That's going to come into play later. Again, the rear is going to close first, and it's clamped tight. And now we're going to clamp this one. Now using it manually, you tighten it at this point, and you would be able to machine, but we're going to use it hydraulically. So we're going to back the jaw off. Remember, the back one's going to move first. Jaw is going to open. You're going to have some preload on the front, so you're going to have movement. You're going to have preload on the back. You're going to have movement. So now we're going to energize the hydraulics on the vise. You can see that we have our little gap here on the rear. This part is held, but it's held with the preload from the jaw. So we're going to energize. Our vise is clamped. Parts are in there. We're going to turn it off. It jumped away right away. Our part's free. This part is held in there, but it's not tight. We still have our little bit of preload. So you, you can pull your part out. And now putting it back in, obviously it's not going to fit. We have to push back, seat it, seat it, turn it back on, and our vice will clamp. both parts secured. Opens. You don't see any movement here, but your part is free to come out. To put it back in, you'd have to deploy this preload on there to fit your part back in there. Learn more about Kurt work holding productivity and how to hold your parts better. Call 763-574-8309 or visit www.curtworkholding.com.